Welcome everybody to Allstrand Promotions. When people visit the yard, you know, to pick their horse up, they come in the little lounge we've got and they look at a film and they say, what's that on the wall? What's this? What's that? What's that got to do? You know, and they're all old equestrian things I've collected over the years. You know, some have been given to me um, and stuff I treasure really. So they said you should, you know, make a, a video of it. So we've called it Old Time Tuesdays. So going back in time a bit and, and looking at what was. So I've got one here for you now to have a look at. And we're going to do this sort of every Tuesday, I suppose. Call it Old Time Tuesdays. So here's a little item that, um, you know, people say to me, whatever's that, what was it for? What this is, is a set of donkey harness. Irish, it will be. And... This was made by an apprentice, known as an apprentice piece. So they would actually make a full set of harness that they could then take and show a potential client, or if they was looking for work, moving on to a, a different town, etc., looking for work, they could take that and show them the quality of the work they've achieved. I'm going to do some close-ups on this because the stitching is quite remarkable. How many stitches to the inch? Absolutely superb. But there she is, there's the little saddle and the bridging. Yeah? With the little chains. Not unlike Shire harness, funny enough, considering it's for a donkey. You always know whether it's donkey harness because it always has pads. Just here. If I open this bridging out and look around it, always has pads. Normally felt, funny enough, on a full size set. And that's because bony, the donkey's quite bony, spine sticks up, so here it would be padded. And here on these two bits that hang down over his hips, they would be padded. And obviously a very nice padding here on this lovely little saddle. Now this took quite a bit of making because it's finicky, it's awkward hard to stitch and the stitching on it is absolutely superb and as I say this would have been made by an apprentice to, sh to show what he was capable of doing also he would take this out and show someone well that's the standard of my work and they'd order a set and a lovely little collar here I mean even down the little hames you can take off yeah these are just a piece of wire shaped in the f into a hame that wasn't really what he was selling. You know, he was selling the quality of the level work. So there you go. I'll take them old arms off. And as most people will know, a donkey collar had to open at the top because their head's quite big and their neck's quite narrow. So it would open there and you could slide it up, slide the donkey's neck through here, yeah, and do it up. Also, they always done them with even the full size ones, and this one's pretty true to, you know, copying a full size one. You'd have three little holes there to adjust it, to let the collar out and let it down a little bit, yeah? And the lovely old bridle there. Very, very much like Shire or stuff. Always surprises me, the smallest draft animal, if you like, being the donkey, and the biggest being the Shire horse. They're very much the same style and pattern. No back to the nose band, just the nose band, the rings there to take the bit, yeah? Yeah, so that's it, and it's a lovely little thing. And it's just something, as I say, I've collected over the years, and I thought you'd be interested to see. So, a nice apprentice piece of a little set of donkey harness. It's as near as I can lay it out for you.